My name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I want to thank everyone for subscribing. We're up to 173 subscribers. If you've been tuning in, you probably recall that I have a goal of 1,000 subscribers by March. If you can subscribe, please do so. I'd really appreciate it. Um, just wanted to note that I just put out another video on automating uh, an incident alert record creation using Flow Designer in Kingston. Um, so that one looks like it's been getting a little bit of attention. I also created an about me and how to contact me video in case you're uh, wanting to reach out to me. I'll let you uh, take a look at that video. So that way we can make these segments a little bit shorter. So moving on to today, we're going to talk about how users can delegate approvals and tasks to another user uh, in Kingston. So um, what we're looking at right now is the My Profile module under the self-service application. The way I got there was going into the filter here and typing in Y uh, space PRO, and that brought it up right here under self-service. Um, and then your instance might look a little bit different. I know that when I went here at first, um, these two related lists were not here. So what these are, um, they're two methods for either um, the user, meaning me in this case, Jason Miller, delegating uh, to another person, which would be Beth Anglin here. And then also, if I wanted to have this user delegate to me, um, this would be another way to set it up. And what do these two look like is, well, if I were to click on this record right here, we'll see here user um, is Jason Miller, and he's delegating to, or I'm delegating to Beth Anglin, and I'm setting the start and stop dates right here. And then here are the different things that are being delegated, so approvals, assignments, etc. Then this related list here says the delegate is Jason Miller, so this is the opposite. And what does that look like? Well, right here, Abraham Lincoln is delegating to Jason Miller, so it's the opposite. Now, the way to configure those lists, um, if you recall, there's a um, task SLA related list video, so you can reference that, or I could just show you real quick. Um, you just go to in the hamburger menu to configure related lists, or you can right click right up here, and or two finger click if you're on a Mac like myself, and scroll down to related lists. And then what would come up is a screen like this, and then you could put in the two related lists. It just depends on how your organization wants to set it up. So maybe you only want to do one way versus the other, um, but I'll leave that um, to your specific user requirements within your organizations. So moving on, let's test this out. So if you recall, um, Jason Miller right here, um, or Abraham Lincoln has delegated to Jason Miller, so what we're going to do is we're going to assign one to Abraham Lincoln and we're going to say really or Jason and we're going to note that this is number 31 and I'm going to save it and then I'm still in my profile here so as you can see here in the filter I have assigned to Abraham Lincoln and Jason Miller so once that delegation wears off, meaning the time expires, um, then I'll only be looking at mine. But for right now, <clears throat> it's going to show both. So I'm going to refresh this list, and I think I can do it through here. I'll just, I'll just reload it. And these are the in incidents that are assigned to me. And the way I got there was to type in to me. It came right here, and then as you saw right there, really for Jason, um, and it's number 31 that pops up. Even though it's assigned to Abraham Lincoln, um, this would still pop up in this filter as long as we're within that, that, um, that time window there. So if I wanted to, what I could do is delete this right now, and we can see if this works. Delete and we'll see how fast it catches up. Okay, so I'll go over here and I'm going to reload this list or let me just click on over here, incidents assigned to me. And now we should only have mine. So incidents, J Jason Miller, the filter is updated and there you have it, right? 
Now there was the other question of whether Beth Anglin would have received mine, um, or excuse me, Abe's. But the answer was no. So what I did was I tested this before because um, I had delegated to Beth, but Abe had delegated to me. So I tried to trick the system and see if both would would show up in Beth's queue, but it doesn't really work that way. So if I wanted both Jason's and Abraham's to go into Beth's queue right here, they would both have to put Beth Anglin as a delegate. So they've done a very nice job of setting this up to prevent that from happening. Then if you wanted to see the reports on who's delegating to whom, you would just come here um, to delegates, it's under user admin, <clears throat> click on this module, and then as you can see, the other one disappeared because we just deleted it. Um, and then I think that's it. And as I like to say, we just unlocked the power of service now. If you can please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you and have a great day.